Thank you for joining me again for another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled The Greatest Service, June 29th. Be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Ephesians 4.32 the greatest service we can render to the cause of God and which will reflect steady beams of light upon the pathway of others is to be patient, kind, steadfast as a rock to principle, God-fearing. This will constitute us the salt of the earth, the light of the world. We shall be often disappointed for we shall not find perfection in those who are connected with us, and they will not see perfection in us. It is only by agonizing effort on our part that we shall become unselfish, humble, childlike, teachable, meek and lowly of heart like our Divine Lord. We must bring our hearts and minds up to a high point of education in spiritual and heavenly things. This world is not heaven, but it is the workshop of God for the fitting up of his people for a pure and holy paradise. And while each one of us is to feel that he is a part of the great web of humanity, he must not expect that others in that web will be without a flaw any more than himself. Mistakes will be made, and if the erring are willing to be corrected, a valuable experience is gained so that their defect is turned to victory. You should consider that many of your own errors are not brought to light and be careful not to make the mistakes and imperfections of others appear in their worst light either to yourself or to others. No man is perfect, and unjust criticism indulged towards others is not wise or Christ-like. We have a serious, solemn work to do for ourselves to cleanse our own souls from spot and stain if we will stand before the Son of Man when he shall appear, acquitted of him. We must be educators as well as reformers. To cut loose from every one who errs and does not follow our own ideas is not doing as Christ is doing for us. We are all fallible, and we need pity, forbearance, kindly consideration, and sympathetic love for those with whom we are connected. We are all unworthy of the love and confidence of God. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book that I may know him. Be encouraged.